Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Bradenton, Florida. I'm actually headed northward towards uh, St. Petersburg today. I got invited to a uh, special event for uh, this evening. But uh, while I was passing through Bradenton, I wanted to stop here at uh, one of my favorite restaurants in Florida, the Linger Lodge. This is a uh, it was wonderful food, but it, it also has an amazing collection of taxidermy in here. I remember the, one of the first times I ever came to Florida, this was like on my like top list of things I wanted to see, the Linger Lodge and their menagerie of taxidermy. So let's, uh, let's go get some lunch. Please, follow me. Been a few years since I've been here to the Linger Lodge, so hopefully they still have uh, their uh, their large quantity of taxidermy inside. Oh yes, they still have their wonderful collection of taxidermy in here. You can see the words Linger Lodge there, actually spelled out in uh, in snakes. That's all snakes there. Quite a few big giant snakes here on the wall. Little tiny squirrel as well. A bunch of fun taxidermy. These cases there. You got your possum there, and uh, this creature here, which is a combination of a turkey, a snake, and oh, there's an Alaskan fur fish because that's a cousin of the fur-bearing trout. Absolute massive gator there on the wall. The deer here. This is one that has the the feet where it can actually hold your gun can actually hold the gun that, that you use to shoot it. And a uh, little tiny jackal up there. The skulls there. This uh, patriotic raccoon. And uh, yeah, some fun stuff here. You got a squirrel dunking a basketball. The squirrel down here is uh, taking a swing at a baseball. I'm gonna crack that baseball here. And a golfing squirrel up here. I don't know if this is some sort of Wolpertinger or if it has a different name. See the rabbit there with antlers and that blue bill. This is a walking catfish. This was found on I-75 trying to catch a Volkswagen bug. The uh, Florida walking catfish there. See the Christmas horse here. <laughs> We can celebrate Christmas uh, year-round here at the Linger Lodge. Yeah, check out the smile on uh, on that otter. Some very vicious bobcats here. Look at their, look at their teeth. I think this little guy here, I think that's a house cat. All right, let's look at the menu here. They have a roadkill section. Now, I'm assuming this is just for funsies, because I don't know, they, you can get a chunk of skunk for $1.95, a smidgen of pigeon for $1.95. These are really cheap prices. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is a, this is a joke. And it, it, there's, there's run over dogs that you can order, a slab of lab, pit bull pot pie. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing this is a joke, I think. Or the bag and gag, anything dead on bread. Hmm, I, I, I think this is for funsies. And our food has arrived. I got the Braden River Platter. I got it blackened. And uh, what that is, we got catfish right there. We got alligator tail and frog legs. And then they have some, uh, they have two different types of tartar sauce. This is standard and remulon. And they call this venom sauce here. And then for my sides, I got two green vegetables. I got the, uh, broccoli and collard greens. Let's dig in to our river platter there. Oh, yeah, always love love alligator, love catfish. Don't know what I think about frog legs. I've not uh, made, a, made a full decision yet, but let's start with that alligator there. Let's try some of the, the venom sauce, as they call it. Ooh. There we go. Very good. A bit tangy sauce there. Mm. 
frog leg. Mm. Yeah, frog leg, I'm remembering that, this is very good. Kind of a kind of cross between almost like chicken and fish, like somewhere in the middle. Like I'd eat a chicken leg that has kind of a slight fish texture to it. And then that's catfish, that's actually, actually fish there. Mm. Mm, everything is amazing, delicious. Try some of our green vegetables. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful Florida meal here. And that was a meal truly worthy of the uh, Clean Plate Club. We have landed in St. Petersburg, and I would have parked here, but uh, this spot, this parking spot, is reserved for minotaurs and mermaids, and I am neither half cow nor half fish. So we are at Fairgrounds St. Pete here in St. Petersburg. This is an immersive art environment that uh, has kind of a strong Florida theme. I actually visited here. I think it's been a few years since I visited here, but they invited me to come out because tonight they're doing a preview of their uh, their seasonal Halloween event, which they're calling Hocus Focus. So I guess we'll head in together and find out all about Hocus Focus. So we enter through here. So the building we are in is called the Factory St. Pete. There are several attractions here. They have a Museum of Mom, a Museum of Motherhood. I need to, I need to come back and check this out sometime. Museum of Motherhood. Interesting. Okay, looks like we check in for the event over here. Oh, I just noticed these balloons here are uh, shaped like giant eyeballs. All right, got a goodie bag here. Have a glowing necklace and a glowing bracelet. Now this is the Hocus Focus scavenger hunt. Apparently we are looking for eyeballs as we go through the exhibit. Try to find the different eyeballs hidden within. And in our goodie bag, we have these uh, these glasses. It's like, what do you call these? Like, uh, they're like Venetian shades, but for your eyes. And then there you go, you, the flashing glasses. And, uh, oh, there we go. And then you have some flashing cat ears as well. Let's see how these, there we go. Jen would, Jen would love these. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. And then I got a button for uh, FG for fairgrounds. It's got that little candy corns on there. Look at these glowing necklaces work. You gotta, you gotta break them. Is that glowing? Oh yeah, yeah, starting to, starting to glow there. Get a crunch, 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 crunch. And then, uh, See if I can get that around my neck. All right, a little tighter than I, tighter than I thought it would be. I have a fairly wide neck. Oh my gosh, I dropped a little thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, see if we can get. I'm determined to get this on my neck at this point. Never, never give up. They wish me luck here. There we go. Turn that around. 
We got our glowing bracelet. And is my wrist too big? I don't have particularly big wrists. Let me see. I think these would be simple tasks, but I appear to be struggling. There we go. Got the bracelet, the necklace. I'm gonna forgo the cat ears for now, and we're gonna head inside. Palm tree here. As we head down this highway to the gator crossing. I really love like the, uh, the amount of Florida that is inserted into this immersive art environment. It's the disco ball hanging above our heads. So we go this way to the Mermaid Star Motel. All right, so as we travel through, help me, uh, help me with the eyeballs. Let me know if you notice any eyeballs as I'm uh, going through the environment here. Oh, oh, here's some eyeballs. Let's see, I'll cross-reference that. I'm not seeing, like these are, uh, these eyeballs here I think are unaccounted for. I don't, I don't see them on my, on my list. Yeah, as I look around, I'm noticing eyeballs everywhere. Definitely a strong eyeball theme occurring here. Here we have the Mermaid Star Motel here at the entrance point to uh, Fairground St. Pete. Let's uh, head into the lobby. All right, here we are at the front desk. Oh, hearing the doorbell there. Little crab squeaks. Okay, so I did figure out this, the bell, when you ring it, you hear that squeaking, but the squeaking is coming from up here. This other crab up here on this painting is what's making the squeaking noise. It's confusing me for a second. Oh, and on the water cooler here, this is complimentary restorative water. You can see a pumpkin, one of those crazy uh, octopus skeletons there on top. Let's see if let's see if this eyeballs on our list. Okay, I'm not seeing this particular eyeball on our list. There is like a carved pumpkin eyeball right there, but that is a that's a different pumpkin. You can see they have some very spooky spider webs hanging up here in the hotel lobby. Oh, let's look at this. This is like, um, you know, where they would have, you know, in a hotel lobby here in Florida, they would have like a place where you have all the different brochures for the different, uh, different roadside attractions. There's Dino Domain. These, I think these are fictional attractions. Cranium Castle. I wish I could, uh, wish I could actually visit these places. Florida Strawberry Soiree. Oh, the Florida Fishatorium. Man, these all sound these all sound like places I would definitely visit. Okay, under the TV here, now there is a pumpkin eyeball, and that is on the list. We gotta find a letter associated with that. And I noticed in its hair here there is an E. So we can add an E here on to that eyeball. There we go walk around back here to the pool area. Let's enjoy the restorative powers of our spring-fed pool. Yeah, here out by the pool you can see the uh, skeletal mermaid lounging and then the pool is actually above us. Here are the I did notice the pool here actually connected to these pipes. One pipe running inside the lobby to where that water cooler was with the restorative spring water. And the other pipe going here to the, uh, the outdoor shower. Okay, see 
those two eyeball stalks up there coming out of the bushes. I do see uh, those eyeball stalks are on our list of eyeballs. And over here we can actually enter the motel. You can look inside the motel room here. Yeah, look at this. There's like, oh, phone is lighting up there. It's like these squid tentacles coming out of the bed. Oh, you can see the eyeballs there on uh, on that painting. I think that is, uh, yeah, there we go. That is, it's on, it's on the list in our scavenger hunt there. They're packing up their suitcase there. Oh, you can see they leave their guests some complimentary restorative water. Whatever's on the TV here is very, very interesting. Oh, the hurricane coming. The little cat. They're stuck, stuck in the hurricane. And over here we have a map on the wall. You see the mermaid there in Tampa Bay. Oh, what are these? Are these eyeballs here? Oh, oh, something is occurring. Oh wow, is Peppy's coin? Oh, I changed the TV too. What's happening? It's all with the eye, the eye of the hurricane. Now it's all, it's all starting to come together. All right, Let's see the, oh that causes little paw prints. Cat collar. Uh, it affect, yeah, it affects the TV, whatever button you push on the on the wall map. There's one more button here. Oh, what's F O L? Yeah, it seems like all kind of interconnected things you can put together while going through this exhibit. Oh, I almost missed the uh, the alligator coming out from under the dresser. It's camouflaged. It matches matches the floor. And what's this over here on the floor? This pedal. Oh, okay. Push the pedal, and there's like a oh, this looks like a dog collar of some sort. Huh. I, I don't know what that connects to, but that's interesting. Oh, what's this? Weird. I can see the other hotel rooms over here. Take a peek inside. Oh yeah, all these lamps, different lamps in here. It says warning, activating this device will call ancient beings from other worlds for help. But how do we uh how do we activate the device? Although I know some of these just turn, well they are turning colors. Look at this, like a, a pumpkin fish of some sort. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a uh, pumpkin lion fish. I do I do like I do like the pumpkin fish. It's polka dotted hallway back here. Watch out, there's a Super spooky skeleton hiding amongst the polka dots. This in here, kind of a cross between a um, an alligator and also like a, a, uh, a Chinese dragon head. Also reminds me quite a bit of the uh, entrance to Gatorland. Anyways, let's uh, head inside the gator's mouth. They have all these little tableaus in here. A lot of them Florida related. Yeah, I love the pink, the pink alligator there outside the motel. There is some uh, people being abducted by aliens on the beach. Uh, speaking of eyeballs, look at this display in here. Weird little, little creatures in there. And then down here we have it's insects playing poker. Some cockroaches there playing poker. Is that a, what is that right there? It's some sort of fly 
And I think those are mosquitoes there in the back. Oh, I kind of like this one. This one's creative to me. It's like a family on the beach, like enjoying their vacation, but they're actually like uh, plywood cutouts with their faces removed, like you'd see at a beach. Interesting. I, li I like that. That speaks to me. It's like a wooden roller coaster there with, uh, with a manatee swimming underneath. Got all these wonderful scenes of Florida here. It's the Mermaid Star Drive-In. Of course, we entered at the Mermaid Star Hotel. So I'm all watching the movie there on the hill with the twisty treat ice cream stand. There's the Mermaid Star Motel again. We see a Sasquatch. Sasquatch in the lobby, as well as a uh, a human alligator standing up. Oh, what's in this room here? Oh, okay, see the mirror there. My lower body can make myself into a merman. And look, if I don't want to be a merman anymore, I can just move over to the side, and suddenly, suddenly. Look down, instead of a merman, I am a squid boy. Squid boy. And as I search for all the different eyeballs, I realize there's 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 more eyeballs than you think in this place. Like this eyeball here, that's not even that's not even on the list. That's just it. Just just an eyeball. An eyeball made out of shells. Here we have the this, this is the rejuvenating springs in here where all the uh, Rejuvenating water has come from. It's got all the pipes pumping out the water. Oh yeah, you can see out here. We were just in that spring room, which is behind that wall. See the water pumping out right there. An ice machine. An ice machine. The eyeball right there. Just peek into the ice machine. Oh no, yeah, you can see that, that spring room we were just in. Out here we have this giant orange drink. Kind of reminds me, inspired by like maybe the, the twisty treats like we saw. The little ice cream stand. This little green cat out here. So we head into the giant orange beverage. Oh my goodness. Oh no, we got a mash. Catch our paw there. I don't, I don't know what that that did. So we got these uh, levers here. Right, gotta make sure we flip all these switches. Flip these switches. Turn these dials. Okay, very nice. It's like a skateboard of some sort. And these, oh, okay, these are skateboard wheels. Spin them. Oh my. A little spread here they put out for the uh, for the attendees here. Get some uh, cold cuts. Some some cheese. This I think like mustard, little mustard there. Some uh, some vegetables. Get ourselves a little plate. Meat and veggies. Broccoli. Right back. 
sorry about that. I bit into the tomato and it just, like, you guys probably saw, it sprayed everywhere. I'm gonna get that cleaned up here. I'd hate to mess up, I need to mess up this beautiful immersive art exhibit with my exploding tomato there. All right, that's cleaned up. Let's try, let's try some of these. Let's try some of these cold cuts. Mm. It's like fancy bologna. Upside down sinkhole sign. There's an upside down panther crossing sign. And wait, what's this? What's back here? I, I didn't notice this. Oh my gosh. Shrimp all over the walls. It's a giant shrimp disco ball hovering above us. And there's a uh, there's skeleton. Uh, Skeleton flamingos and look at this. That is the largest shrimp cocktail I have ever bore witness to. That is amazing. I don't remember the shrimp room from last time. This may be a either a new addition or just very, very, very well hidden. Oh look at this. Eyeball person. I see, I see you. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have this like natural area out here. But if you look above, there's the hurricane. And there's the eyes in the eye of the hurricane. See, it all comes together. The eyes, the eye of the hurricane, Florida. It all connects. And this is wild. Back in here, it's almost like an exploded, exploded van. See the back? Van doors as we head in here. Yeah, the van doors are all here. Notice the, the paw prints on the front. That seems to be another reoccurring theme is the, the cats. You've got cats, you've got eyes, you've got hurricanes, you've got water, restorative water. That's yeah, so you see the water pouring out right there. And uh, what is that? I'm not sure what that is right there. I don't know, we can mess with <laughs> mess with things and see uh, see what comes up. But, uh, oh yeah, look at that. There's more of that restorative water there in the, uh, in the Coleman cooler there. Oh, okay. I think this is, this, this is actually on, on the scavenger hunt. This, this cup with the eyes on it. Let's see here. Yep, yep, there we go. Right there. And it has a has a letter connected to it. Oh yeah, you can see there's a U, a U next to it. So we found another one. There's a lot more to go. We vowed at least a couple now. See, I've discovered that this is some sort of code here. You have this capsule with the numbers on it. They correspond to the cup holders here. Cup holders light up and that changes the numbers on here. Although I'm not sure what number we're trying to get it to. Huh. Got lots of stuff to unlock here. Sometimes I'm not the best unlocker. Peeking back into the hotel here. I guess this is the strawberry room. Again, they grow strawberries in Florida here. See the giant rotating strawberry cake. It's all like a display of stuff that I uh, try not to eat anymore. <laughs> the strawberry picnic in here. See that cake there in the shape of an actual strawberry. Back here is like a little, oh, saw that light there. 
Let's see. Oh, look at that. You can control the light there. You can move it by moving your hand. Oh, look. You can see some things under the light that you can't see. Oh, look at that. Up and down with your hand. Oh, yeah. Make out some animals there hiding in the shadows. Oh, look. What's that? Is that Mothman? What's here in this? this window back here. Oh, man. We're like under, under a bridge somewhere. What the heck? Photo up here. With the uh, eyeball balloons. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that makes me nervous. I have like a phobia of eyes. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, this room. We have a uh, bar here. Some clouds circling the bar. The bartender is a two-headed pink skeleton. And that's actually, it's actually on our list. Technically not an eyeball, but uh, still on the list. The uh, two-headed pink skeleton bartender. And also, this drink with the two eyeballs in it, that is also on the list right there. That's got, look carefully, it's got an eye, an eye behind it, fittingly enough. And uh, see if the two-headed skeleton, okay, two-headed skeleton's got an A right there on one of its bones. So we can add those uh, to our list. The snow globe full of eyeballs also, also on the list right there. But what are these strange machines here on the wall? There's these hands, got a little pug there. Let's so turn this wheel here and it turns these physical hands and then they pet the pug Oh look, it makes him super happy. He's running there. Interacts. Oh, there he was. He was on top of the hands there for a second. Interesting. There's this machine here. It's got a little octopus and a top hat on top. But we have uh, chickens. Chickens in the box here. And, okay, we have a fist here. We turn the crank and it punches the chickens. Oh. oh wait, what was this other, other one over here? Okay, and the chickens can knock this and that just flipped. It's got an egg in its hand. And then finally, the the duck machine. This little duck swimming around. You turn these gears. Okay, and it makes little hands go up. Oh, what is happening? What's happening to that duck? He's got like stink lines coming off him. It's a very, it's a very interesting works of art here. <laughs> All right, so they said if I go up to the white coats, I can get a, I can get a prize? Yeah. A prize? <laughs> what it will, oh, sticker. Thank you so much, eyeball person. Oh, 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 slurk, slurking away there. <laughs> do, you, do you have a, a prize for me, eyeball person? It's a, it's an eyeball ring. Lights up? All right, let's see if we get this working. Okay, flashing light warning. I'm about to show a flashing light, but there is my, uh, my flashing eyeball ring. Well, unfortunately, I did very poorly on, uh, on the scavenger hunt here. 
I found maybe, what's this, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the eyes. You can see there's way more than six. So yeah, this is something you really have to like take your time, be observant, things that I'm not necessarily that skillful at. But uh, yeah, if, if, if you want to come and take a crack here at uh, trying to solve this puzzle and find all these eyeballs here at uh, Fairground St. Pete. So thank you for joining me here today at Fairground St. Pete. And thank you to Fairground St. Pete for having me out for their preview of their Hocus Focus Halloween event. It's all, it's all about the eyes. It's all about, it's all about eyeballs here. But uh, I'm about ready to head, uh, get in a car and head northward. We got some things waiting for me north out of Florida. I love it here in Florida and hopefully I'm gonna be back in Florida before too long. But uh, the Halloween season is calling, the spookiness is calling, some spooky experiences that I want to experience this year and share with all you are waiting for me all throughout uh, all throughout the month of October. I hope you guys are enjoying the spooky stuff. I have been trying to put some other stuff in there as well for those of you who don't uh, don't like the spookiness. And um, and yeah, for you guys to enjoy. But then I know a lot of you do love the spookiness. You like to see me endure haunted houses. Although I'm worried. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'm worried that I'm not getting scared enough. I'm worried that I have been through so many haunted houses that um, that I'm not as terrified. They still catch me. They still get me. They still get a get a yell out of me. But but if you look back, you know, four years ago, five years ago when I first started going to haunted houses, I was literally letting out blood curdling screams every few moments. And I think it's I think it's I I, I think I'm not as terrified. I think I have been braver. I don't know if braver is the best word than, uh, than I used to be, but uh, let me know what you think. Am I, am I losing it? Am I losing my fear? Is that a good thing or, or is, that, is that a bad thing? Does that make things less entertaining here on this channel? But thank you so much for joining me today. Had a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys uh, like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. If you'd like to help uh, contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars more, we get you a postcard once a month from me as I send you postcards from my travels. And uh, also doing uh, the, the pins on uh, the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. Been doing uh, personalized messages. You can get one for a friend, a family member, for yourself. If you're interested in that, check the description below and all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.